It is that time once again as we welcome you to this edition of the Benicio Honor Juvenil. And what a big one we have for you on this Saturday afternoon. It is Barca and Zaragoza. And the most important match remaining on the schedule for both teams. For these two sides, it's pretty simple. This is as good as a final. We have El Clasico coming up tomorrow, but for today, this is a little bit different. El Clasico, it is between the first and second place sides that game, Barca and Madrid. But those two sides are separated by nine points. This in the Divisio Honor Juvenil, it is the first and second place teams separated by one point. Barca, Juvenil, A are coming off of a 2-0 defeat to Girona two weeks ago. And that defeat, just their second of the season, is what has them in a position of chasing Zaragoza. A team who have won five of their last six games. And with just a few games left in the regular season, seven to be exact, all points are at a premium. It is Barca coming to Aragon to take on Zaragoza on the road. A matchup where the winner would take sole possession of first place in this division. And on the other side, Zaragoza will surely be thinking about the possibility of a draw and just trying to hold on as best they can. They have the one point lead over Barca at the moment. After 23 games played, we play 30 in the Division Honor Juvenil. Taking a look at the two sides now ready to go. Barca and Zaragoza. It is uh, an 11 for Barca that we are used to seeing. We'll run it through for you here momentarily. We are underway for this club today. Ander Astralaga starts in goal. It is Hector and Xavi Moreno on the wings. Oh, easy now. It was almost given away by Sergi Dominguez. It is Sergi and Arnau Casas in defensive support as this one is sent into the area dangerously. Hector defended it well. And will roll on through. Biel Vicens, Aleix Garrido, and Unai Hernandez are in the midfield. Three players up front include Mark Yu, who starts in the number nine position today for Barca. And you do have Angel Alarcón. Angel has the number 11. Elias Ahumash starts for the Blaugrana on the left hand side. Canavotha are a strong team. A team that have earned just about everything that they have gotten so far. There's quite a crowd out to watch this one too because we are aware of its significance and what it means in the league. This is a top matchup today. Barca will have the first corner of the day. It's 
over hit over everybody. For Zaragoza in goal, it is Sergio De Thea who gets the start. He's started all but four of Zaragoza's games so far this season. Diamante, Joel Andres, Linares, Keita. And even a man named Laoth. Normally familiar with Laoth wearing a referee's uniform, but not today. That is Alvaro Laoth. Here is Ilias. Now Hector, early ball in. That's a good one. And it was not too far away from Gyu, who was making his run into Thea Covers. Shima Barrachina. Joaner. So see the likes of Lucas Terrer and Liso getting the start today. On, on the run. This picked up by Terrer, trying to spread it wide. Recycled back by Biel. has pinballed around quite a bit so far, but this is where we will see if Oscar Lopez can find some rhythm for his side. It's not like in years past, where uh, at least last year, for example, nearly every team coveted the title and got there with time to spare. This year, Barca are chasing as it stands at the moment. One goal can change that though. Xavi Moreno into the box, getting the return from Angel. And it was blasted off of Moreno's body. And out for a goal kick. in Aragon. Place that uh, is not too far away from Catalunya as it were and for Barca to get from where they start to get over there, it's less than three hours of a drive. I would say for the uh, Divisio Honor Juvenil's standpoint, that's pretty far because most of the teams that play in this particular league come from Catalonia as Barca will be happy to take the foul. Matter of fact, there's only a handful of teams who do not have Catalan in their lineage being Zaragoza, Huesca. They choose to be a part of this esteemed group as Elias tries to win it back and ends up losing out on possession. Now he's on the chase to get it back and it's won by Garrido, slowed down by Arnau and brought back to Astralaga. And now Zaragoza are on the run Ball spread wide, brought into the box, Ander stayed home, and the header came from John Air. He was trying to catch up to it. Did he get a good connection to it? Doesn't look like it. it was jolted, taken by surprise. It's 
Aleish trying to win it back. He sports the captain's armband today for Barca. One back by Ilias. He was on the run until he wasn't. Flag come up, ever so slightly. Came up on Zaragoza. I beg your pardon, I was wondering why that was the case, and it was uh, along the touchline, which to be honest, it, it didn't even come across to me as an option because that looked like that had stayed in. Game promises to be cagey because one goal can make all the difference in the title race. And right now it's Barca making their way forward and Zaragoza thus far defending with honor. The cross didn't quite have enough bend on it from Xavi Moreno and it's out deflected. Barca will have a corner. Bodies in and around the six yard boxes. This one is much better whipped in and it was met by a head. I believe that was the head of Angel who got around to it. Took his deft touch. Just couldn't redirect it on towards goal. Nobody have score, has scored more goals in the Divisio Honor Juvenil than these two sides. Zaragoza have the edge as it stands right now. Also trying to catch up. Angel. It bodies to Amat in the box. Over the top, Yu was calling for it. Hector wins it back. Yu tried to return the favor. He got tripped up. And there was no call. Oh, Sergi has to get it back to his keeper, which he does. have scored 52 in 23 games this year. It's hard to average to a game in this league. Goals don't come as often as they do in some of the other leagues. The systematic defense setups are just too good. And the handball is unheard. And Liso is still going into the box to get his cross in. Estralaga able to cut it out. You can understand Rivarso were trying to make that call. It's sort of a, an unstoppable force, immovable object type of day because these are the two best attacking teams in the league and they are two of the best defending teams. Barca have conceded the fewest goals but now they're looking to score one and they, they have, it is Ilias Akumash to put Barca in front and what a goal that could be for the Blaugrana in their title race this season. Poor defending from Zaragoza. 
Ilias pops on the opportunity and Barca take a 1-0 lead. Seemingly too easy. And that is a massive goal. One that will keep Girona or keep Barca in their right frame of mind after getting shut out at Girona two weeks ago. They don't lose games often, Barca, and that game two weeks ago, it was one nil for the longest time. Girona got a late one to close it out and make it two nil. It really felt more like the one nil of the first team in the first leg of the Copa semifinal against Madrid. Girona scored early and then they defended and Barca just couldn't break through. It was just their second loss of the season after a one nil loss to Dam back in October. But when these two teams met, Barca and Zaragoza in November, it finished 2-2. So we are not out of the woods yet. We know there's still a lot to transpire on a day like today. It was intended to be a clearance and he was in an offside position after he chased it. Fifteen minutes through. This opening frame. And Barca in the live table have now taken a full on two point lead. what one goal can do. One goal can change a lot. A second goal can provide a little more insurance for Barca. In what at times in Zaragoza feels like a dry desert land. Not like here in the Catalan capital where we're staring down the barrel of a beautiful Saturday. Today in Barcelona, we're looking at 17 degrees. And Zaragoza always just a little bit different in terms of a climate. It's a warmer day today. Same temperature, sun's out and shining. Here come Barca again. Central pass is cut out. Gonna come back as far as Hector. Hector sends it back into the area. Well won back by Aleish. Better by Elias to take possession and then slow play down. Alarcon on the left hand side. Bins. Dominguez. Yeah. 
Trouble in the corner, and the goal kick it is. It wasn't just the loss two weeks ago for Barca that have derailed, at least momentarily, their chances at capturing this title, as that was just barely cleared by De Thea. the host of draws prior to that. They got a win three weeks ago against Wiska, but before that, three draws in four games. And uh, just an inability really to score, to get things going. They scored just three goals in that stretch and the defense had been pretty good. Barca don't concede more than a goal often. So that two nil defeat to Girona was certainly more the exception than the rule. Yes, he's going to talk to you with Jimen Lucas Terre. because I saw a flag come up. Hector got caught for a moment. It seemed Slightly too far for service. Elias is gonna need to get a big boot into it. He's gonna start by taking it to the top of the box and that's where Barca can reset it. Nicely turned. Vicens, Hector. Now Elias. Got two watching him, tries to go between them. Try it again. Dominguez. Casas. Hector. Elias trying to turn away from trouble. He's gotten past Andres for just a moment. And back by Barca. Work to the far side. Angel, his shot from distance didn't quite curl down the way he had intended it to. Well fought for by Moreno, and Barça seemed to be in control. They got the goal about 10 minutes ago. They are the team in command of the game and the league, and they need to keep it that way. Elias 
Two defenders on him again. Trying to get around at least one of them. He's gotten into the box. He's brought down in the box. And the whistle is for a handball. A handball against Elias. Look at it. Here comes an opportunity for Zaragoza trying to get it forward. Jan Er is the man who got his foot further than everybody. Flicked into the area, that's a chance, and it's well defended by Arnau. Got in front of it, and it looks like it's gonna be a goal kick in the end. Arnau stood there, and actually it's because of the flag that came up late. It did come off of Arnau, it's an offside. Left it behind him. He's back on it now. To the middle. Bouncing ball. Lisa lost it. Andres over the top. Barca being forced to defend very deep now. keep hold of the ball in their attacking half. Do have to try to bring the game to Zaragoza a little bit, pressure them a little more. Zaragoza are starting to run further forward. Liso Laoz into the area. That's cleared away. Only as far as Linares. Let's take it away. Garrido is there. Elias wants to split. He's gotten past three defenders, now four. Still going, Elias finally brought down. Can we get a foul, please? Really? How much hard work did he just do? Well, he's back with Barca again. Maybe they can make something of it. Gyu, Gyu turns, Gyu fires, and it's blocked away by De Thea. Ultimately out for a Deep, deep throw. That's more like it, though.
into the area. Ilias was half a click away. Now we're starting to see Barca find some of those gaps that they left throughout the first 15 minutes. Unai Hernandez's name hardly at all today as he's trying to track down the ball. But in the midfield, there hasn't been much there for him. Necessary defending from Arnau. Now Barca coming back the other way with Ilias, who's been taking on defenders today. We know that's what he does when he plays on the wing, which is where he normally plays, but sometimes when paired with Lamine Yamal, we've seen him in other places. up more in the midfield. He's a different player when he plays in the midfield area. He thins. Spreads it wide. Ilias from the wing. Thought about a shot that time. Also have to fight to get it back. He thins, does that. Well recycled. Shot from distance will curl into the grateful arms of De Thea. That is Angel. Ilias to the inside. Oh, that's a brilliant pass from Ilias. Gyu almost got there. It looked like he was on top of it, and he was trying to find the appropriate angle to set himself up for perhaps a shot. A little more than half an hour in now, and Elias Akumash is starting to cook. Claim of a foul is heard by the referee. Of course, Real Zaragoza. Are a team with a storied history in the top flight of Spanish football. A team that has been around since the inception of all leagues, and they've spent 58 seasons in La Liga, 26 seasons in the Segunda. for 
Zaragoza, they are the senior team in the midst of a very disappointing stretch of football historically. Although their juvenile A team is starting to make noise. And they've invigorated the fans once again. The cutback from Andres. This is Laoz. Into the area. Headed clear by Moreno. Chipped up and away for a corner. the players are asking for a corner and it, it really should be looked like it went off the head of Dominguez had a feeling that this game would look like though is spells and spurts for both teams. It was a stretch for Thanagotha where they were in the top flight from 1978 to 2002. And in fact from from 56 to 2013, they had spent just four total seasons in the Segunda. And they are now in the midst of their 11th year here in the Segunda. Trying to recapture some of the magic that saw them, for example, finish third place in La Liga in 1994, a year where they won the Copa del Rey. Won it a number of times, actually. Most recently in 2004. Now it's Barca's turn. Barca are away. They need some help. It is Ilias Akumash. It's still Ilias. Ilias shoots. Ilias hits the side netting. Boy, he weaved around every defender and made it look very easy. Here is Andres, took a double deflection. I think that might go as a corner. Andres is frustrated because perhaps he had a point. And that's a really difficult one to see. Definitely the right call was made.
As the corner comes in towards the near post. And Buffs will have to defend it again. This one taken short and missed on completely. against Zaragoza. A little more than five minutes remain in the first half. This is Laoz, who wants to reset it towards the back. Zaragoza still in search. Garrido dispossessed. Laoz, it's a hopeful ball. Very few opportunities since the goal, and now Barca can try to take advantage of one with a corner. It's gonna be Ilias. Goes in to take it, this will be swung out with his left. With bodies in the box to aim at. Swung on low. Cleared out of harm's way by Andres. Couple of wasted opportunities. For a half that since the goal, we've, we've lacked occasions, we've lacked chances. A day where some of Barca's youngsters are being shuffled around. Now here they come towards the top of the box. Can they find the open man? There was an unmarked Aleish in the middle. Just be wise for Barca to make sure that they've got their I's dotted, T's crossed, ducks all in a row for the rest of this half. Take it into the halftime team talk and recalibrate. They got the goal. They got what they were looking for, which would be a halftime lead. thing that Oscar Lopez would be 
asking for would be to build on that lead. Elias trying to turn away. Everyone thought he was going to his right. Instead, he saunters off to his left. He's being hounded from behind. He'll happily happily take the foul. Goal does belong to Ilias. I would say of the 11 players on the pitch for Barca, he has been the brightest of the bunch. Still waiting to see Unai Hernandez really get more of an opportunity to be active on the ball today. That's all we're going to see from the first half. Barca's goal from Ilias Ajumash at the 13 minute mark, that's the difference. And these two sides outside of that couldn't be separated for more than anything but a chance at most. It's Barca with a one nil lead from Zaragoza. We'll have the second half in this one versus two matchup for you. Just about ready for the start of the second half here in Zaragoza. It is Real Zaragoza nil, Barca one. And that is how we like it. Fighting for the league in this game. That's just the way that it shapes up today. The live table has Barca two points ahead of Zaragoza. We started the day one point back. Barca with a goal from Ilias Ajumash in the first half, and it is indeed Barca who take control in the league, but there is still a lot of time to go in both the league season and this game. 45 minutes, and a lot can change in that time, but a win here today would mean more than any other victory for Barca the rest of the season, that is for sure. Official Guillermo Gomez Moore is ready and only his whistle can start the second half. <laughs> Underway with Zaragoza attacking to our right. Barca heading to the left on a temperate Saturday afternoon. Spencer Siegel here with you on the English side of things. Thanks for joining us on Barca TV Plus. For Barca, it is not a sure thing today, the way that Zaragoza have come forward at times. Although I would say that we haven't seen the one chance that Zaragoza, you would say, had to have put away. Barca, however, have gotten in behind a couple of times, and they've done it again here to start the half with Xavi Moreno, whose cross comes right back to him, sends it back into the area, where it's claimed by De Thea, the Zaragoza keeper. For Barca, it is Ander, Astra, Laga, Ingol, Hector Ford, Arnau Casas, Sergi Dominguez, Xavi Moreno along the back line, Biel Vicente, Aleix Garrido, and Unai Hernández, Starting in the midfield with Ilias Ajumash and Angel Alarcón on the wings. Mark Guiu is Barca's number nine. Here is Angel. Wants to go at a pair of defenders like Ilias did a number of times in the first half. Ilias, the best player in the first half and uh, the player for Barca that we'd like to see more of in the second half would be Unai. Did not get 
many if any touches on the ball. And now a little lazy with that one, and this is flicked ahead. Dominguez has to deal with it in an anywhere will do attitude. Gets it away in time, enough for it to be a corner. to the corners that Barca have to defend confidently. Lofted into the area, Ander has to head to his back post. It could have deflected off of anybody and Barca are fortunate just to get that away. The last touch came off of Alarcón. And so we'll head to the other corner flag and try this again. This one comes into a similar area. It's popped up and away. It is Chema who gets the return. He was quiet in the first half too, the Zaragoza captain. Now Ilias was happy to take his space. He was asking for a foul and now it's going to get a little angsty on the touchline, and that's because Elias was looking for a foul. He didn't get it, so he decided to cover up the ball. I thought about the players wanted the ball, and now it's uh, a little pushing and shoving, and an everybody scrum. Let's see what the referee opts to do between. Ilias and Linares. <laughs> Ilias is going to claim that he was fouled. Sent to safety but kept in by Keita and now Barca come running away with Ilias who left the ball behind him. That allowed the Zaragoza defenders to catch up. Talked about what the first team has done recently. Zaragoza had their chances to get back to the top flight last couple of years. 2018, they finished third, missed out in the playoffs. 2020, the same fate fell to them. They are in the midst right now of three middling seasons in a row. 15th place two years ago, 10th place in last year's competition this year. They are smack back in 15th yet again and based on how the season comes to an end, they can finish anywhere really between I'd say 9th and 15th and that is uh, 9th and 18th really. Probably safe from the drop. They're eight points clear of the drop. A third tier fate hasn't befallen them since 1949. So we'll restart it here. And the claim for the foul was, sounds like heard by Barca's contingent. As opposed to awarding a potential handball.
Free kick coming from Unai, who holds back on it. Now wants to go quickly. Now lofts it over the top. That didn't work out the way that Barca were hoping. Zaragoza will try to break, but Barca do bring some bodies back. This is Chima, a shot from distance, whiffled its way towards the back post. Play by Ander. Now Ilias looking to break away. Enough Blaugrana shirts around the ball to win it back momentarily. And that's one thing that Barca have done well enough today. They've gotten balls around, or they've gotten uh, bodies around the ball. And Larcon dispossessed, and so it, it doesn't allow Zaragoza to break free in a manner that would suit them. Hector has to defend Liso. Comes the ball into the box. That's deflected away. And again, they're looking at the referee. It is Laos saying not much more we could have done about that. Taragotha will take the corner from it. Ander tried to get a punch to it. it looks like he got just enough on it. And then poked free by Aleish. Not quite there yet, but the longer the game goes like this, the more pressure starts to mount on Barca to hold on to their lead rather to chase rather than to chase a second goal. Certainly at this stage of the game, a second goal would suit them just fine as that shot is ripped into the net, over and behind the goal. Good sign for Barca to see for down in this area. Diagonal has fallen to Angel Alarcón. He's got a rare one-on-one -on -one opportunity to take on his defender. Wants to slot it back. This is Unai Hernández. It's sent away by Keita. That's the best look at a shot that Barca have had, I would say, all game, even more than the goal that they scored. And on a second look, the shot itself would probably go down as a mild disappointment 
for no other reason than the fact that it was hit right at the keeper and Keita was right in front of it too. Slipped along by Terrer. Now brought back to the top of the box, outside of the boot shot, dealt with by Sergi. Defended well enough, Sergi Dominguez. In comes the corner, out it goes at the front post. It looked like a clash of heads perhaps between two Zaragoza players. Keita was in there, I believe it was Terret as well, though he's back to his feet. Question will soon be with plenty of Zaragoza, plenty of uh, Zaragoza fans in attendance and watching what's transpiring upon each goal kick, foul, and restart. How long will he let play drag on like this? Barca are happy at this point to take as much time off the clock as possible, but they still would like to be clinical with the opportunities that they seek. Like Ilias in the middle. You'd like to see him there, although he was taken down fairly, says the referee. That was not fair. And the claim is going to be for a yellow card for Unai Hernandez, and that's exactly what's going to come out. The first card of the day. Had to do something to stop the break. everybody to get back behind the ball at the very least. Lofted into the area. Ooh, that was mishit by the Fins. Everybody behind the goal is asking for a handball. None of the players are, though. That usually tells you something. Now there's another chance brewing, and it's Zaragoza on the shot. The initial shot was blocked. It was on air. Zaragoza feeling the momentum starting to shift. Linares has it back. Chipped over the top, and that is a lot to ask. away by Moreno. Covered by Chema Dominguez defending adequately too. We've got about 30 minutes left here. It really, since the goal, it's just starting to feel like Barca have to hang their hat on that. And that becomes a dangerous game. It's gonna be worth repeating throughout the rest of this game that a win for Barca puts them back on top of the table, a place where they were just a few weeks ago. But a loss to Girona, coupled with a Zaragoza victory, have put Zaragoza at the top of the table. 52 points for today's home side, 
51 points for Barca. But a win here would make it 54-52 in favor of the Blaugrana. A draw, though, would put Zaragoza back on top. This cross comes in towards Chema. It's knocked around in the box. It's still loose, finally picked up by a Barca foot. At least able to get away momentarily from trouble, but it looks like Barca could perhaps use a substitute or two, or Unai Hernandez, who seems to have some fresh legs, and now he's gonna lead the break as he spreads it wide. It's Ilias Akumash into the box. Ilias to his left, needs to pick out an option. He's slowed play down, waiting for the defender to come to him. It's Ilias! Oh, and it's just wide. Made you feel for just a moment that it could have been a game clinching style goal. Given away by Chima. One back by Barca and settled on the ball. are nicely winning the ball back now. Their pressure. This is Unai. Slipped forward, but a little too far for Hector to chase. So, I say could use a sub, and they have a few options to go for off the bench. John Anaya in defense, Cantero, Cristobal Munoz, Gerard Hernandez, Daniel Rodriguez is an option, Derek Cuevas as well. There are several players available. to try and create whatever Barca want for this contest. So let's see what they go with. Here come some changes. It looks like it's going to be Unai and Aleish, at least two of them coming off. I see three subs getting ready though. So Unai and the Leish are off. Looked like Dani Rodriguez was uh, at least one of those substitutions, perhaps Cristo as well. As we get a solid view of it, we'll get it to you. Dani Rodriguez for sure, he's in. And he's a little late to the ball in the box there. John Anaya is another as he's taken down seemingly fairly. So it's Anaya, Dani, and 
Cristo as well. Those are the three substitutions for Barca as they begin to think about what happens with a win on the road against Zaragoza. A goal from Ilias Akumash. has shunned off the ball. It's taken back by Terrer. Long one to chase. Out comes Astralaga. He's happy to land on top of it. Ander hasn't had a traditional save to make yet today, but he has been required as an outlet for Barca at the back. Biel. Nicely worked by Hector. He and Anaya working in tandem on the right hand side and it's Hector Ford into the box keeping his run going. You don't see the two of them often in that spot. No whistle for a foul as Chema was a little limp after the challenge with Xavi Moreno. Brilliant settle by Danny Rodriguez. Perhaps his sweet feet can get Barca a jolt of energy down the stretch here. Atagoth are trying to apply the pressure. They are chasing the ball. Here's Munoz. Danny to his left. Cristobal Munoz weaving into the box himself. It's still Cristo, and finally Keita did enough. Perhaps a fortunate little bounce that went Taragotha's way. Otherwise, Munoz is in. And they're going to keep on feeding the left-hand side. This time, Dani with Moreno to his left, Dani a little hard, Moreno caught up to it, cross over everybody, Anaya can run it down, but uh, it went over the byline. Zaragoza's turn to make a substitution. Just one, it looks like. Louth comes out. One back by Anaya. Got to go back around an hour to find the goal. A little less than that to find the goal that have put Barca in front. Scored by Ilias Akumash. Will not be part of proceedings tonight, of course, against Real Union, where the Barca Athletic are playing today. Away by fourth. 
Long run to chase it down somehow. Gyu found it, now it's Anaya with Dani in the middle, Cristo trailing. Wait, if he can be found, Anaya will go himself. to have just one 1-0 one victory since the end of October. This team doesn't really know how to play games like this this season. Ilias almost changed that script in just a moment. Defea will cover it up. They have just two 1-0 victories all season. They beat Wesca back in October and the win sandwiched between a couple of draws last month. 1-0 against Sabadell, both of them coming on the road. This is a similar hostile road situation, at least as far as the Divisio Honor Juvenil goes. Clipped over the top, uh-oh, uh-oh. A claim of a penalty, and it is falling on deaf ears by the referee, and Barca are lucky. Sergi Dominguez, just crunched Chima. The fans are rightfully upset. It sure looked like there was something there. Now Barca can really anger the fans if they can get a goal on the other end. Instead, it's given away by Dani. And a long run coming back the other way. Another flailing limb, this time Yoaner. And it's out for a goal kick. Everybody knows what's at stake on this ground today. Mark Gu is done for the day. He's going to take his place. It looks like he did it, coming in as the fourth change. Confirmed it is Dedic, and he's taking the ball away upon entry, and he's going to draw a foul. Brought back to the original point. And the chance of Fuera come from around the ground. And there were a number of calls that went in two different directions throughout this game, but the one that the Zaragoza fans are going to recall is what happened in the box. So that is it for Terrer. Substitute coming on is Marco. Oh, 
on the restart. A little less than 15 minutes of the allotted 90. And then what? Forward by Xavi Moreno. Dani does enough. Cristo wins it back. Now here is Ilias. He wants to cut inside. Ilias Akumas already has the goal. Keeps it on his feet. Trying to cut back to his left. It's Cristo. His shot blocked. Came all the way back out. Recycled. Biel has to track it down. In this big time Juvenil uh, Divisio Honor Juvenil matchup to try and determine potentially a champion. Barca are humming and they've got their substitutes out there. Elias was clipped from behind. Cristo keeps his run moving. This is where Barca want it. Chasing shadows, Zaragoza. <laughs> Through the middle, where Ilias has been posting up. Now Dani, trying to seal the deal. Ilias wants the left. Dani flicked back, Ilias across the way, and it's cleared out of harm's way for a corner. Barca drawing ever closer. Feeling like they have the willpower to collect one final dagger. Danny Rodriguez will send it in. Lofted high. Met by a Zaragoza head. Recycled back out to Danny, who's in an onside position. Now to his right. Danny chips it in towards the back post where it was headed by Hector. Right now, the way that the game is shaping is that there's still an opportunity. There's a sliver of hope, an opening for Zaragoza. They've got a little more than 10 minutes to find it. They haven't had much of the ball in this second half. Barca have played their game. They've dominated proceedings the way they know how, but they have to slam the door shut. These are the types of games that win titles as the ball is headed away by Biel. Not cleared convincingly, lofted back into the area. Back out. We're trying to go th to reset. Chima sends it wide. Xavi Moreno in defense. Marco wide again. This is Piamonte headed up in the air. Ander stays home. It's not cleared yet. It's chested down. The shot blocked. It was Joaner's shot. Back in by Keita. It's a mad scramble. Tension starting to rise. Zaragoza starting to turn on the pressure. Marco dispossessed. Brought back by Linares. Into the area for Ander to collect. Amidst and amongst the trees. A 13th minute goal from Elias Ahumash. Can that be the difference? 
Anaya won it back. Elias was ready to stop play for a moment after a potential injury, and Anaya is going to oblige. This is just the second substitution for Zaragoza. It's Johnny. And if you're Zaragoza, oh, Anders' clearance was low and it went right into the pressing Zaragoza player and instead Barca are fortunate be able to reset their defense after that. But we're getting to the point now where Thanagotha need to empty out all possible stops because this is the game you don't want to let get away from you. They won't feel that they've had too many prime opportunities to score. Barca will feel they deserve all three points. Xavi fell, got back up, and keeps his run moving. Was he tripped? Yes, he was. Outside of the area. A free kick coming. Absolutely, and you could make an argument if you slowed it down even further that it was right on the line. Difficult to see in real time, let alone slow motion, but Barca are happy to take the free kick. Try and make something of it. These pseudo corners, these little short, chippy deliveries can be tricky to, to put in on the right spot. Suppose with their left foot, you'd trust Elias to put it where he wants it, but it's not really a shooting angle, especially for him. Ilias puts it in low, and it doesn't quite amount to anything except for Zaragoza trying to come on the run. There is a foul against, I believe that was Dominguez, who was just trying to stop the break, so he sees a card for it. Into the middle, it's Linares. Barca just have to defend the way the first team does. 1-0 is the scoreline of the year. It might as well be a championship level game scoreline for Juvenil A to, uh, as well. Though at this level, especially, Zaragoza will be in desperation mode. Barca can look for a quick break if Zaragoza flood those numbers. They have one more substitution window to make. One more sub to make if they choose, Barca. There's Marco. And trying to will Zaragoza forward. Giano, newly added substitute for Zaragoza. Now 
Marco. Lofted over the top. Hector is in defense, so too is Anaya. Monte. Jano. Given away and booted to oblivion. Anywhere defense will do. There's a player down still. I believe that is... As the shot comes in from distance, Ander has to take care of it. Hold on a second. All right, ball is taken out of play. So the player down is Xavi Moreno. And Ander is being swarmed now as tensions were sure to at some point today rise. Ander has been shoved to the ground. The referee has cards in both hands and he's just gonna sit back and wait for all of this to come to its conclusion, which is what he should be doing. Not much else for him to do. He wants a check on Moreno. Ander is still down. The referee is going to have to come to his decision at some point. I'm guessing once Ander stands up, he's going to be one of the players that sees a card. Yellow's doled out. This is only going to <laughs> add to the added time at the end. Moreno is still down. This is, let's see where the antics came in. There was a shove from Johnny. But all of this time will be added on. The only problem with it, as you can see the referee pointing to his watch saying, yeah, I've got this covered. The only problem is we're not really going to know exactly how much time it is. Because we're beyond the allotted 90 now. Looks like a serious cramp for Moreno. I mean, he couldn't even put any pressure on it. I mean, I'd imagine that he's gonna try Chavi Moreno, but to come back on, it doesn't look particularly promising. The Barca are playing down a man at the moment and they need to just see this out. However much time is left, however much time the referee decides to add on, which could be as much as four or five minutes. I'd see that as a possibility. We're not going to get the number. So it's just about holding on now for Barca. A win which would put them back atop the table. They started the day down a point in the table. There's a body going down in the box. There's a whistle for a penalty and it's a goal kick that's given. I said a, a whistle, it's a whistle from the fans for a penalty. A claim and nothing more.
Still going to be a lot of time left in the season to flip the script, but Barca will be on top of their destiny. They'll be able to control their own outcomes from in front should this result hold. With seven games remaining after this one. They used the magic of Ilias Akumash today to take that lead in the first half. They have not shown signs of relinquishing it. And Barca are on the run with Zaragoza having brought numbers forward. Barca can make that run in behind. The pass was left short for Cristo. That was a more than decent opportunity for Barca. Beyond three minutes past the 90. Just keep pressuring the ball. Do that and good things will happen. Johnny trying to make an impact. The substitute to the middle. He's not pressured, but he spreads it wide and there is nobody there. Cristo on the run with room to roam. His man fell. He's going to keep his run moving. There's a free man at the back post and it's pushed wide. Dedek was there. It was his chance to seal the deal. He could not take it and we still play on. There's still a chance for Zaragoza here. The cross is blocked. Barca come away with it. That's gonna be a foul and a card. And Zaragoza just feel like perhaps their chance, their time has run out. We've gone five minutes past the allotted time. It might be another minute, a minute and a half at most. Can't envision much more than that. Pushed into the corner to chase. Oh, it nearly worked. And I wanted to grab the ball. The referee eventually was wise to it. Everybody forward now. They know that this is likely the last opportunity. Flicked on dangerously. That's, who that come off of? That's gonna be a corner. One more corner to defend. One last effort for Zaragoza to take something from this game, to take first place back. It's whipped in to the far post, headed the other way. The keeper was up, that's cleared, and that's the final whistle. And Barca have taken a massive three points in the race in the Divisio Honor Juvenil. They get the victory. It is Barca one. Zaragoza nil, Ilias Ahumash gets the goal.
and they go back in front to top the division. And that's how we close this one from Zaragoza. A 1-0 victory. Barca, hold on. We're going to see you next time. The title race heats up. Until next time, have a great night. Good night.